DavidTheBronco.com slash ask is officially back. Let's do this. Hello guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidTheBronco.com slash ask. For anybody who has been watching me for at least, what, two years or so, then you probably remember that domain. Yeah, it was basically an open forum where you guys could post questions related to anything that you're interested in learning about me. But just as long as those topics relate to things that make interesting video topics. For instance, my thoughts on iOS, my thoughts on the new Mac OS, my thoughts on the future of vlogging, the future of YouTube, whatever. So basically, if you have a question that you think could make a great video topic in the future, please post that question right there. Again, it's davidthefranco.com slash ask. That is right below for your convenience. Okay, so getting right into it. Here it is. Boom, visual proof. Today's question comes from Adam Rose, and Adam says, how committed are you to vlogging, and will you continue to vlog for years to come? Adam Rose, thank you so much for this question. I'm actually gonna take your question as an opportunity to help you guys, and basically how to commit to vlogging, because let's face it, vlogging is not exactly as easy as it may appear. I mean, yeah, sure, you pick up a camera, you talk, you edit, you upload. Boom, it's that easy, right? No. Vlogging takes a lot of work, takes a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of people to make it possible. People meaning you guys, my subscriber base, and I'm very, very grateful for that. But it certainly did not happen overnight. So how exactly do you commit to vlogging? Well, number one, you just gotta get started. Pick up a camera. It doesn't have to be anything expensive. It doesn't have to be like this, a Canon T4i or my $1,000 camcorder. Okay, so yes, that's a kick-ass camcorder all around and I love that camera. You don't need something that fancy. You most likely have a great camera in your pocket right now or sitting on your desk in front of you. Yes, your iPhone, your Android phone, your Windows phone. Do people still use that? Seriously though, pick up your phone and start vlogging. Just be sure to use the camera that's at least 720p. I say the camera, meaning the rear facing camera. Your front facing camera might be good enough, so if it is, use that as well. But I'm just saying, if you're gonna be using your phone as a vlogging camera, make sure you use a rear facing camera because that's most likely more capable than your front facing camera. Anyway, so yes, that's step number one. Just get started, pick up a camera and start talking. Tip number two, have a plan. I mean, some people just go into it and see what happens over time and there's nothing wrong with that. But then again, there's nothing wrong with having a schedule either, having a plan. Make maybe Mondays all about answering questions and Tuesday you could talk about whatever else, like Tuesday tech or Wednesday weddings. That's a really stupid example, but hopefully you get my point. Have a plan and try to create something that you think others will enjoy. But then again, me, I don't really have a plan. I kind of just go into it because my weekend vlogs are typically the same schedule every weekend because, well, weekends are Friday through Sunday. And actually, with that said, my weekend vlogs used to only be Saturdays and Sundays, but eventually I started vlogging on Fridays, which I think is better because that gives you guys more content to watch. Now, sure, my weekend vlogs are extremely long. I think I make some of the longest videos on YouTube. But you know what, you guys seem to enjoy them, so that's why I haven't really cut back in terms of the uh, overall duration. Tip number three, or step number three, I don't I forget what I was calling them, interact. You need to interact with your community. I don't care if you have one subscriber, five subscribers, or 5,000 subscribers. Subscribers are people. These are people that are actually taking time out of their day to watch you, the content creator. Again, I don't care if you have one subscriber or one million subscribers. These are real people and you need to treat them as such, which is why if you reference any of my previous weekend vlogs, at least in the recent um, year or so, you will hopefully realize that I respond to a lot of comments. Yes, it's very time consuming, but you know what? I make the process fun for me. I sit down in front of some random movie on Netflix or HBO Go or whatever. I open up my MacBook Pro and just start responding to comments. It doesn't have to be a tedious process. You just need to figure out some kind of workflow. I'm trying to figure out a good word for that. Workflow is good. Figure out a workflow that works for you. Make it fun. And finally, number four, this is probably the most important one. Never, ever, ever give up. That's a quote from Michael Scott on The Office, the Booze Cruise episode. 
Never, ever, ever give up. I swear, if this freaking fly passes by me one more time, I can't stand having a fly in the house. It annoys the crap out of me. Anyway, never give up. Never give up. Believe me, guys, I've been there. I realize how frustrating it is to create content consistently and not have people watch every single day. But I can promise you something. If you're creating something to be proud of and you're doing so consistently, you will have subscribers come in over time. I can promise you that. It's really not that difficult. It just takes a little while. And I realize getting started on YouTube is harder than ever nowadays because it's so freaking saturated, but you will never know without actually trying. So do just that. Going back to step number one, you need to get started. Then fast forwarding to step number four or tip. Again, I don't know what I'm calling them. Never give up. So get started and never give up. And all of that in between will eventually work itself out over time. It's just a natural process. It really is. So Adam Rose, there you go. Those are my tips on how to stay committed to vlogging. But to actually answer your question, will I continue to vlog for years to come? Hell yeah. Honestly, I love doing my tech reviews and unboxings and whatever, but those videos don't mean a lot to me. I mean, okay, okay. They're important to me, but they're not sentimental to me. Sentimental, said that kind of weird. My vlogs are what mean the world to me. I love the idea of looking back on a video that I uploaded in 2006, 2007, 2012, 2014, whenever. I quite literally have 10 years worth of content on YouTube. And I just think that's amazing. And if I can keep that going to 20 years at least, then that's even more amazing. Because let's face it, we live in a scary world and our lives could change dramatically tomorrow. So I think it's best to vlog your life starting today. Start right now. As soon as this video is done, pick up a camera and just record a video. Record something that you find interesting and I guarantee you other people out there will find it interesting as well. You just need to try. You need to try. Don't be lazy. Create content. Now to open up my notes app, I'm going to give you guys today's recommendation over at lynda.com slash David. Now, you may recall in past Q&A videos, I used to openly promote audible.com, which I might continue to do so in the future because I like Audible. Hey, it's audiobooks. Um, but I figured I would try something different. I figured I'd try something more visual. Let's just say that. Now, you may have heard me mention this in the past. lynda.com slash David. That's L-Y-N-D-A dot com slash David. You can sign up for this site right now using that link and get unlimited access to high quality video courses. Thousands of video courses at that for 10 days. Again, unlimited access for 10 days and these video courses can apply to a variety of topics from video editing to graphic design to audio and music to blogging to business to photography. There is so much content out there that you need to start looking into today. And who knows, perhaps that content can inspire you to start making more videos. Because after all, that's what this comes down to, creating quality content for others to enjoy. So today's recommended course, I have my little notes here so I wouldn't forget, is called Pixel Playground with Burt Monroy. Burt Monroy is a long time design genius. He can pretty much design anything in this world. He's just incredible. So check it out. Again, it's called Pixel Playground. You can learn tips and tricks in Photoshop and Illustrator. It's a weekly 10 minute course. Yes, every single week you get a new 10 minute course um, that can help you improve your skills in both, again, Photoshop and Illustrator. But not only that, as of today, there's already nearly 24 hours of video content to enjoy. 24 hours. I just think that's incredible. And again, you can get unlimited access starting right now by using that link right below, lynda.com slash David. Now, of course, lynda.com is a sponsor of mine. I have no problem in saying that, but I will say this. I only promote brands nowadays that I can personally recommend and trust myself. And lynda.com slash David is the website to use if you're looking to learn something new. Seriously, check it out. 
I can promise you, you will not be disappointed. That link is right below. So there you go. One more huge thanks to Adam Rose for making this video possible. I really appreciate it. But of course, this is just the beginning. Keep those questions coming in. Go to davidfranco.com slash ask or slash forum. They both go to the same page and post those questions. I wanna hear from you guys. The more questions that I can get, the more content that I can create for you. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly do appreciate your support and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.